What's going on guys, it's Rick Arter here and you're watching Scale Car Models. Today's video I'd like to talk to you guys about the kind of paintbrushes I use to paint my models. And I don't have a huge collection, this is actually all the paintbrushes that I own right here, but I just got done watching a video from Famous Racing Customs. Nate, you do great work. Really enjoy your videos, you're probably one of my favorite channels. You got really long videos where I know sometimes you say you kind of rant on about stuff, but honestly that's what I like to watch. I mean when I see a video from you and there's a lot of you other guys out there I like to watch too, so I don't think that's the only guy, but I really like his video style and the way he kind of just, you know, is relaxed and, you know, just shows what he's doing, talks about his day, stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff I like to see. I'm hoping to get more of that stuff myself, but for right now, uh, this video is just going to be about paintbrushes, and he made a video talking and showing, you know, the stuff he uses. And really, I don't have anything fancy. I totally agree with what he says. Uh, on the left here, these white ones, these are those included... Uh, testers brushes and you see I have this big fan one here which probably wouldn't be too bad the bristles are kinda stiff but they're in really good condition I've never used this brush this one here I actually think I trimmed down um, and I've never used these two I'm not a big fan of these I just I don't know about acrylics but I know enamels I just never got a very good result from these as far as the way they would you know lay the paint down here uh, these brushes I've had for years I actually got these from my dad years back and uh, I don't think I've ever really used this one, although I am going to be using it for doing some interior work coming up. Or actually, this would probably be a really good future brush, but it's really nice, so I don't really want to use it for that. And this is a, a 5 made by Atlas. It's a red sable made in China. And then this is a uh, 2-0, it's Midwest. Made in the USA. Nice. This one's a little bit bent. This is what I use for my detail brush. I have another one that's real small, but it, the part right here broke off, so I don't use it anymore. And the rest of my collection, which is actually what I use most of the time, are just these uh, Hobby Lobby Special brushes here. And I have a couple different. These all came in a pack, and I think these are all the ones I have. I might be missing some, but... I mean, you have everything goes from the big ones here. you got a zero, and then this other big one I think is a one. Yeah, it's a one, and then these are all the slash zero ones. Smaller, I can't remember what they're, yeah, three slash zero, ten slash zero. This is another, I can't even see the thing on this one. Must have rubbed off, and there's another one. But these are what I use, you can see I haven't used all of them. But you can tell the difference from when they're clean and when they're dirty. I don't know if I haven't been cleaning them that well, but they work for me. This is a really small one here, this one works good for detail. And really, when I'm doing detail that's that small, like if it's, if it's a bolt head or something like that, I'll usually use a toothpick or even the, uh, I don't have them with me, but I think they're Tamiya. Uh, they're these little, um, they're kind of like toothpicks, but they're plastic. They're little paint applicators. They work pretty well. So there's what I got, guys. Let me know what you use. I'd be interested to see. Um, and let me know if you know I'm using the right or wrong kind of brushes. I usually use enamel when it comes to brush painting, but I'd like to get into more of the acrylics because they're just easier clean up, they don't have the smell, um, they seem to lay down just as well. I have one of them, it's in a flat brown, but I don't have a whole lot of projects that require flat brown, so maybe one day, but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate the views, the comments, the ratings, everything. I just hit um, a thousand subscribers and like a hundred and twenty thousand video views, so that's awesome. You guys are a great crowd. I never thought this channel would grow as fast as it did, and your guys' support and your guys' uh, positive influence, it's going to be even better for uh, 2013. So you guys take it easy, comment, rate, subscribe, and lots more videos to come.